our college football prime time here where college football was born back in 1869. What a Friday night at Rutgers Stadium in front of a capacity crowd and with a national television audience looking on. The Scarlet Knights open up their 2010 Big East slate against the Huskies of UConn. The loyal 12th man was dressed for the occasion blackout and the vaunted Huskies rushing attack found out early about the tenacity of Greg Schiano's defense. A good starting field position for the first time for the freshman out of Lyman South Carolina who put up incredible numbers in his high school career and this is going to be his first official start. Here comes Chase Dodd. Third and long. Here he is set to throw again. Deep middle and what a strike on the run down the sideline. Deering's dog. One freshman to the other. 46 yards for the touchdown. And Rutgers takes the lead. Chase Dobb, we said it last week, looks very comfortable in the pocket right there. Great protection by the offensive line. A strike right in the numbers by Chase Dodd. Muhammad Sanu comes back, gets a little peel block. First career touchdown for Jeremy Deering, the true freshman from Tampa, Florida. Moments later, there was another big play. From the goal line. Got a crease, 100 yards. Will he make it? Yes, he will. And the Scarlet Knights wasted little time in responding. Hot try, 20, 25, 30. Here comes Joe. 40, 51 man to beat. Unbelievable. How good is Joe LaFedge on special teams? A couple weeks ago, he's the Big East Special Teams Player of the Week and Defensive Player of the Week. Joe LaFedge setting the tone, taking control of this game right back with the Scarlet Knights right there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> 75 yards for LaFedge. Let's just call it a track meet. As Coach Greg Ciano predicted, the game would provide riveting drama. While speed was shining under the primetime lights, it was the careful game planning, sound execution, and second effort which put Rutgers back on top. Second down and goal. Sanu out of the Wildcat, up the middle. Muhammad on the second effort got across and they're saying touchdown. Rutgers' extra effort on offense was quickly becoming contagious as the defense held the Huskies and their highly talented running game totally in check in the first quarter. Zilch for the offense for the Huskies. This is a very active defense. They believe in the pressure game. That's Chiano's calling card. Andrus comes up and he's right down there with a student body is making it difficult for him. And it got to him. You think that's going to inspire the blackout student section <laughs> I'd back there? So. Uh huh. Now they know they're having an impact. The student section for Rutgers was alive, proving to be among the loudest and most passionate groups in college football. The energy provided by the 12th man was matched by the suddenly surging RU offense, with true freshman quarterback Chase Dodd at the control. Their freshman quarterback has been slinging it around. He's set to throw it again, and he throws a strike one more time. Fires over the middle, caught. Jefferson inside the 10. And there was no indecision by Chase Dodd. Throws a strike to the big 6'6 tight end. This kid does not look like a freshman. If I'm on the other side, you got to bring pressure because he's killing you back here. 17 to 7. That last scoring drive, 60 yards, seven plays, capped by T's 28 yard field goal. The Scarlet Knights defense pressured the quarterback and frustrated Connecticut. They held the Huskies to season lows through the air and on the ground. However, in the second quarter, UConn found a small gap in the RU armor. From their own 34, handoff, Todman's got a hole up the middle. Todman to the 50. Todman's off to the races inside the 30. Todman could go, and he does. Wow, this is a roller coaster early, isn't it? Rutgers' offense failed to convert on the ensuing drive, and the Huskies once again threatened to score as the tide began to turn. Third down and four. Smith's in tight on the left. Endress is looking the other way. And he's going deep to the end zone. Got it! Touchdown! UConn has really come back. Jordan Todman, 66-yard yes, touchdown run. Changed the momentum of this game. 21-17. Connecticut has the lead looking to add to it before the end of the half. Yes, Connecticut was on a roll late in the second quarter. And with another quick strike, UConn had the ball in the red zone again. While the effort was there, the bounces and near misses were favoring the Huskies. But with the fans showing their unwavering support, Rutgers tightened their belt 
and held the Huskies to a field goal. Rutgers had things going their way, and in the last six and a half minutes, they gave up 17 points. Well, it's been a night of big plays, so I suspect that we're going to get some big plays in the second half. Head coach Greg Schiano took advantage of halftime and made some adjustments, all part of the work that goes into a winning program. And as the third quarter unfolded, their bruising defense stepped up, and the offense once again caught lightning in a bottle. Sanu's going to throw. He got a man wide open. Jordan Thomas. And Rutgers has got something working here. Sidestep one tackler. He's inside the 10, down to the six yard line. We saw some big plays in this game. We also saw some growing pains. A 33 yard field goal attempt, and it's a fake. Now they're going to throw off it, trying to, the throwback, and it's overshot. The Huskies seven yards on two runs right here. Big third down once again for the Scarlet Knight defense. Under five minutes to go, third quarter, 24-17. Huskies lead it. Blitz is coming, fires left, knocked away. This year, they're third in the country in third down defense. And look at Rowe, he just plays that perfectly. To the delight of the fans at Rutgers Stadium, the team's nationally ranked defense played with passion and purpose throughout, hitting with reckless abandon, following the program's mantra of swarming to the ball. Those long hours of training, those hot days in summer, served them well in the fourth quarter as the defense continued to hit as hard as they did in the first. Rankings in the country on third down defense. They come in ranked third in the nation. They're going to have to ask for more of that right here because it's third down and nine. Blitz picked up, airing it out downfield. That's knocked away. So Rutgers defense did its job again, and they'll force a UConn kick. The questions concerning Rutgers' true freshman quarterback were everywhere. Would he be composed? Would he execute? Might he get a win? Those questions were being answered with Shiano in his corner. The kid was growing up under the primetime lights. You just don't expect that kind of composure and that moxie from a freshman quarterback. Still on its feet all the way down to the 12 yard line, a yard short of the first down. Rutgers was stopped on fourth down, but Greg Schiano's defense welcomed the challenge. Rutgers will ask their defense once again to come up with the, some stops. Todman, he's all wrapped up. Rutgers defense knows what it has to do right now, and that is get the ball back in the hands of their offense. Up the middle, top into the 15, maybe the 16, and it's a three and out. Very, very strong effort by the Rutgers defense. It's two seconds to go in the football game. Connecticut 24, Rutgers 17. Now they know what they need. Four minutes left. Deep ball, man there. Touchdown. Harrison. One play. They didn't need four minutes. They only needed nine seconds. The touchdown was the perfect example of the team first approach that Rutgers lives by. The blocking, the throw, the catch. And while there was much to celebrate, there was still much to be done. Wow. No, sir. Chased down from behind. Alex Silvestro with a tremendous play. It was difficult to determine which was louder, the deafening roar of the 12th man or the closing footsteps of the Rutgers tacklers, both of which had the Huskies on their heels. And after a quick possession, the offense once again had the ball in their hands. Dodd, first down. He's going to go deep again. Deering's got it. This might be for the ball game. From 34, kicked on the way, and it is good. The fans and players celebrated in style on a spectacular night in Piscataway. It was a game about effort and resolve and about getting a big conference win.